Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terror video. I want to share with you guys today a Karma Israel list made by Kurobi, which helped me to reach top 100 NA masters. I just want to share this list before we hit patch 1.6. I thought this deck was very powerful. Uh, some of the cards that are included are kind of interesting. By now, a lot of players are familiar with Karma Israel, but I want to talk about this list very quickly. Uh, one of the most spiciest inclusions here is going to be Drew Rig, as the three copies of because it kind of replaces Chump Womp, and this card in particular, we don't see enough play of it, but Drew Rig is low-key, quite a powerful, interesting card. Uh, helps with rummage discarding, helps with early game, so that's what kind of makes this deck the most unique. So, if you're familiar with Kaimo's Rule, this is a card that's different. Uh, you might also notice that we have a singleton copy of Gotcha, and a singleton copy of Get Excited. So for the veteran players, feel free to skip over to the gameplay if you want. I'll leave the timestamps in the description. Uh, for a newer player, I suggest you just hang around and listen for a second because this deck's very powerful. And if you can learn how to play this deck, you'll improve as a player and you'll be able to climb your ranks and get to where you want to be. Right now, Karma Ezreal is super powerful, and this is because Karma is a very overtuned card. Ezreal is an extremely overtuned card, and together they just make this very uh, oppressive deck and very polarizing. So Karma, basically, once you get enlightened, which is when you reach 10 mana, you're going to be able to double your spells, cast, and Ezreal, by the way, once it's leveled, once we've cast enough spells, targeting our opponent's minions, every time we cast a spell, we're going to shoot a Mystic Shot at the Nexus. So that's just basically like the combo deck aspect, right? So these two uh, cards together make this huge late game combo, hence the polarizing matchups. Now let's quickly jump through the list, okay? Three copies of Karma, you can run this deck with two. You're going to struggle in the mirror matchup because inside of Aegis provides you tremendous value in the late game. Three times deep med, we're going to draw two cards and it's not too hard to reduce the cost of this because our deck is mostly spells, good for cycle. Uh, Will of Ionia at the moment is a very powerful Ionia tool. Until this card gets nerfed or tuned, uh, it's definitely going to be a three of include in all lists to remove your opponent's units. Three times Static Shock, for, uh, static shock sorry, for leveling up Ezreal and cycling through a deck. Cycle is very important. Singleton copy of Gotcha, a very niche card, good as a one of. When drawn, costs two less, deal three to an enemy unit. Uh, two times deny for denying your opponent's control game plan and it's huge against some late game bombs. Three times shadow assassin, elusive, three mana 2-2 two, two, which draws a card, very good all around tool, very flexible and just a very powerful Ionia card. One times copy of get excited for dealing more damage to your opponent's face in the late game uh, with your Ezreal bomb. Some lists are cutting this so this is very good in the mirror matchup guys. Uh, three times Ezreal, of course. You definitely want three Ezreals in this deck. It is the most important tool to find. So if you don't have three Ezreals, I suggest you make three Ezreals or play another deck. Uh, three times Mystic Shot at the moment. This card is a very powerful PNC. Almost auto include. Deal two to anything for two mana. Very powerful. Eye of the Dragon. Seems like another extremely overtuned card. Two mana, one three. A tune, which will give you back one mana. One mana, one three. You play two spells in a turn, you summon a Dragonling. This card is just insane. Uh, definitely a great inclusion in a list like this. Claws of the Dragon, uh, two mana, three, two. If you cast two spells, you'll be able to summon this uh, for free. Uh, very good in a deck that has limited tempo. This can provide you some early game or sometimes push some aggression against other control decks. Rummage times two, super good in the late game. Early game, you can, might consider using it to play some jury rigs. So when this is discarded, You'll be able to play it to the field for free. Very powerful at burst speed too. Very powerful. Uh, in the late game, combos with Karma for huge card draw. One times health potion. Very good anti-aggro tool and a very good anti-control tool in the late game, especially if other decks are trying to burst you down with some sort of control game plan. Very good. Uh, three times Thermo Beam. Another great PNZ card. Very flexible removal. And you can't really go past that when considering it. I said you can consider cutting uh, one Karma if you wanted to. I'd probably replace it with a Progress Day. Or if not, another Rummage at minimum. Okay guys, let's go have a game. Hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys soon. Oh, and before I forget, I should probably talk about the Mulligan extremely quickly. Against Aggro, just look for the early game. We're talking cards like Eye of the Dragon are going to be your number one go-to anti-aggro tool. Mystic Shot, Thermo Beam, Health Potion, all these cards will help you in the early game. Just look for stuff that costs three or less. Just look for these cards right here. These cards right here, probably your best early game tools against Aggro. Pretty simple, really. Against Control, especially in the mirror matchup, just look for your Cycle, uh, look for your Shadow Assassins, 
uh, deep meds, anything that's going to help you get through the deck quicker while your opponent really doesn't do anything much in the early game. That should really be pretty simple. I hope that makes sense. Blood for ally. Okay. I'll keep this hand. This is a matchup where tempoing out Ezreal would be nice. It also can get countered, so I have to make a decision. So that decision is probably not to play it then. Hopefully no Omenhawk from my opponent and we should be fine. Awesome. Victory requires a shot. So we'll Mystic shot this here. And if he has a Elixir of Iron, I can play the Jury Rig. No, we're good. Do I ever play Jury Rig? Just to push four damage? Sure. That's pretty aggressive. Wow, triple Israel. Holy shit. Hello, all three. Yeah, it makes my decision a bit more interesting. So now I probably want to play one. If he drops below four, I'll play Israel. You actually swing here? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna trade into the Avarice in a century. I'll deny him some card draw. This trade kind of looks weird. He's just trading off. Okay. I might just be able to straight up burn my opponent. If I can dodge the calling strike, we're we're brilliant. There it is. Let's actually will our let's will our unit back because he hasn't played any um. He hasn't played any uh, Avarosian Trappers, so there's no 5 drops coming anytime soon. He could probably play like Ash. Okay, sure. I'll pass for now in case of... Uh, what's that card called again? Trephorian Glory Seeker. Even though I can counter it, he might have like Fear of the North, etc. Yeah, I'll just play it now. If he does have it, I can Mystic Shot it. Probably activating this deep med's gonna be important. And they don't always have this second calling strike. Fakie, I'm stuck at plat. Do you have any tips? Hmm. Have you tried uh Darius Agro? <laughs> or Ash, actually Ash Ash Sejuani. So I'm just blocking the five. I'm going to thermo beam it. That was actually a pretty well-rounded play for me. Pretty happy about that. Plus we activate deep med. And no calling strikes so far. And hopefully the open attack goes through. Oh, there's the Ezreal that we shuffled back into our deck. I'm probably just going to go face against this guy. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. How much damage do I have in hand right now? Nine. I probably can't go face just yet. Can't be correct. I'm just gonna slap this five three uh five five. Alright, getting rid of this would be good. Denies him some card draw. If he has Assessor, that's one of the few cards that's going to screw me over. He could also play Sejuani. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hang on, these are Ezreal's Mystic Shots though, so I can't exactly go for a huge Karma play. Damn it. I should have cleared the Ash. So how much damage is he pushing? A bit too much. Hang on, am I, su am I surviving? He's pushing, technically he's pushing 13, 19 damage. So I'm not surviving. Where there is life, there is hope. That 
They oh they run Captain Farron. That's fine. I'll just do this. So my plan is to somehow make it back into my next turn. Like I want to get Karma enlightened. Oh, I found a will. That's pretty cool. Okay. Hopefully no Reckoning. I can't beat Reckoning. Actually, I can... That is not Reckoning. I'm about to cheese my opponent, guys, if Calm is not dealt with, which I don't think it's going to be. I can sometimes find Static Shock as well, which can level up my Ezreal prior to all this stuff. He hasn't, he didn't find a way to deal with my units. Oh no. Oh no. Calm is about to go enlightened. Still Tempest. Oh shit. He must have hard stuck his Drew. He can um sometimes frostbite my board. But if I'm not mistaken, I feel pretty confident just slapping 12, a lot of damage to his face. I can sometimes play Steel Tempest. If I stack this correctly, I can flip Ezreal simultaneously, which might be more damage in sense. I've got a lot of calculating to do right now, and it's going to be a bit tricky. Does it make more sense just to send everything face? Steel last? I can only steal when he attacks. I also have to do it before he attacks in case of harsh winds. Actually, if he plays harsh winds, I just win. I think that's lethal. I can't, I'm trying to think of what beats this. Flash freeze plus calling strike beats this. Let's try it. Actually, no, it doesn't. Karma's... This spells already go off. So even if he figures out a way to deal with the Karma, it does not matter. Look how weird this looks. Yeah, Karma already doubles the spells, right? I forgot about that. So this is just... It's just done. Look how beautiful that looks. <laughs> beautiful. It was meant to be. Can you imagine playing such a toxic deck?